Welcome to the Afterspin, opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask John Hood and Chris Fitzsimon, on Valentine's Day, we observed the one-year anniversary of the Parkland shooting in Florida. Now, since then, there have been more than 1,200 children killed in our nation, including 220 in our state and 600 wounded. Uh, there are bills now before our legislature that would stiffen gun controls, raise the age for buying assault weapons from 18 to 21 years old, and require background checks on all purchases. What do you think of these proposals, John? Uh, I think that background checks uh, is a reasonable rule. It has not been applied to person-to-person -person sales for reasons of, frankly, administrative you difficulty. Yeah, and you know, pri One private person selling another private person his or her gun is different from a dealer selling that gun. Uh, what, I, what I would hesitate to, to argue for at all is any attempt to define an assault weapon, which is not a meaningful term, and to try to basically make the most popular rifles in the United States, of which there are millions and millions, into some sort of contraband item, I think that is foolish. Do you not think we could come to a common consensus on what is an assault weapon? I doubt it, because so really? far people seem to confuse it with an assault rifle, which is a real thing, which involves an automatic weapon that's a military-grade weapon. That's not what semi-automatic rifles that people in millions and millions of cases own. It's just not the same thing and people are confused Chris, about your it. comments on this. Well, my comments, I think you know, we've debated and we'll continue to debate how to reduce gun violence on the show for a long time. I think what frustrates a lot of people uh, in the country is that it, not only we just marked the uh, one year anniversary of the Parkland shooting, uh, it's been a year this past October with the largest mass shooting in Las Vegas where 49, 50 people were killed, 500 were wounded when the guy was opening fire with all sorts of weapons from a hotel room above a country music concert. People want something done. They want to feel like there's some idea. I think we had sort of agreement after that horrible episode on this show that at least bump stocks would be uh, outlawed, which allows you to convert a weapon into an automatic and weapon. I've been surprised they hadn't done that. Well, I think that is about to happen, well, but, but it should have happened It should have happened already. So I think my, my view is, and I don't want to, we could debate all day, John and I and anybody else, about what we should do, but there, there's got to be some minimum, and background checks is another one. Overwhelmingly, the majority of people, in, it's in the 80s and 90s, the majority of NRA members want an increase in background checks to get to as near as we can to universal background checks, but nothing has been done in Congress or at most state levels. That's what people are, it's insane. Well, I, I want to ask about that because the NRA has primarily <laughs> been the organization that has opposed most any kind of gun control legislation. Mm -hmm. uh, there is pretty strong evidence the NRA has considerably lost its influence and its finances along these lines. Does that open the way for more reasonable gun I, control? I would not bet on any of that being true, Tom, okay. in any way, shape, or form. But what I would say is I think that one of the pro most promising ideas that, that we should do in North Carolina and other states should do is this idea of protective orders. You have the opportunity to identify someone who might have a mental illness or need some kind of intervention, take away a gun for a while. I think there, if you have a proper judicial process for that, I think that is a reasonable approach. You know, unlike many of these rules, bump stocks separate, that ha would ha not have prevented very much, that actually would have prevented some yeah. of these cases if we'd been able to take guns out of households the protective where there are people idea. who have mental illnesses. So far as the legislature in North Carolina has a couple of gun control uh, bills in the hopper, you think anything's going to happen? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm not optimistic. I want to be optimistic. I think people are demanding that something be ha something happen. They want their public elected officials to respond in some way that makes sense. We haven't seen it yet, and I'm not, I'm not optimistic it'll happen this year. All right. Well, thank you for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.